doesn't interest me There is far too much of it in the world Bridge between what I don't have and what I don't want is long I am not over here, I'm anonymous Nothing is real, I'm invisible I am a renowned poet with an ashen dust face of unrecognizable importance Retained in the memory of stagnated and interspersed hungry sadist Who will have no rest Driven by insatiable spontaneity In the pursuit of the diminished inertia Soundlessly with detached smile And pardon for lack of motivation See them, but they no longer see me. They are the cancer spreading and eating away, growing malignant disease. They can no longer make eye contact with the likes of me. They are made me the obscuring of society. different than your dads and granddads who are my my identity is no more streets are fresh and still with disagreeable cells with exhaust grit and sewage with ruthless expression this was an epidemic the entire city struggling statoriousness further decay Grave stay. Poets on the corners recited rhymes they memorized from life's disappointments. And they would look you in the eye with the narcissistic wet seeping with activity and bark like little costume dogs. Grinding brakes screeching to a halt in the wall of stifling fumes. There is a subway, so wide as the ground shake. Oh, the city was bustling, yet methodical, like sexless insects waiting to become extinct. You could taste the piscatory flavoring your mouth. This was the place where humanity replaced God and no one could explain why. Because they choked on every flavor forced into the mouth. Perspirations, nauseous hysteria, loss of. Color.
consciousness. And this was the life they knew, Narcan and ambulances. Everything was born tragic, both excessive and uncomfortable. With chills and sweats, the inhabitants, prisoners of this life, waiting for an alarm to sound or to fall into the abyss or something like it. Let it happen, I say. This is the city you've made, and I'm just a nameless observer. Solitude when books don't speak and portraits don't see, and this mismatch, the buzzing crackling of the living dead. safe 
from the corruptible moments that seek to fashion us all dormant sorrows, cascades from the unknown places to awaken the pain from the impalable crown of thorns placed upon my head, incomplete flawed creatures working our way back to the garden of introduction. We cannot allow incoherence and anarchy to become an obstacle to our vulnerabilities. Of which there is consequence Let supreme perversion die in your arms Use profound confidence To rid yourself of make-believe Nothing cures us except Unconditional love